two ran out of batteries on the first one. If you see the title of the video, you guys, this is the video that I not necessarily wanted to make, but I felt like I needed to. Um, reason why I titled that is usually I like to have fun, and we'll we'll do that again. Trust me. Um, so I think it's about seven days since I uploaded. So if you guys wondered what happened to you, um, I want to be transparent. I, I got the news that you know. Of course, you guys know about the pandemic that's going around and it's wreaking havoc on the economy and everything. Uh, unfortunately, the company I work for and I love working for, I love working with the people I work with, like family to me, no longer able to afford to keep me on. So like 90% of the people on my island and around the world find themselves in the boat of just trying to figure out where we go from here in life. and. Um, <clears throat> like I said in the last one, you guys still protect yourself. It's, it's a COVID is real, um, and life is a four little word, but you only have one to live. So, put that on the top of your most important list, please. Um, I would like to, you know, take my hats off to our mayor here, Derek Kalkami, uh, for making the, the the decision that wasn't the popular one. Trust me, but the one that needed to be done. Um, Late March, I want to say, is when we said Kauai is closed and not to be mean or anything like that. It was just trying to create a safer environment. And we, he was the first to implement curfews and, and, and stricken um, what really needed to be done. And later on, other islands, because of the mayors and the governor, it followed suit. And um, I understand the reason behind that because my island is about 50,000 people. We really only have one major hospital and the visitor size was a lot bigger than the resident size. So if you gotta believe that 50,000 people would have overwhelmed the hospital system that I currently live by, having visitors with us, which is four times the amount, would round that number into the hundreds of thousands and that would be something that you just don't wanna happen because you, you get to a point where you need medical care, you're not going to fly back to wherever you came from to get medical care, especially not knowing if it is worse or where you're trying to get to. So it wasn't the popular call again, but again, it was the right call because life comes first. Life is number one. Safety is number one. So we only had like one hospitalization and uh, we had the lowest number of, of of cases uh, second wave I don't know I think we're still in the first wave personally numbers have increased again because of easing and you know what like I said the, the first time curbed is not cured it is not cured um, so personally in my opinion guys I felt that we, we probably could have closed sooner uh, December is when a lot of stipulation news went out and then it, it it took uh, uh, quite a while to kind of shut down. I don't believe we completely, completely shut down. It, the phases was, a, it was pretty much like a wait and see approach and uh, what is uh, other people doing, um, which is, is, is kind of sad. But I'm glad that we came out, you know, where we did, where in my area we didn't have a lot of deaths and stuff because I know that that did happen you guys and um, it could have been prevented and um, I'm not I'm not I'm not a politician or anything like that you guys I just call things the way it is I have my own opinions and views if you have your own opinions and views and they're different in mind doesn't mean I can't be friends with you guys because you know what you guys are always free to have your own opinion your own mind you should you know, and that shouldn't be a reason why people hate each other or anything like that. But for me, I think as far as the virus goes, that should have been number one problem. And we should have thrown the chicken, the, the kitchen sink at it. Everything, every asset we had, everything we, we could, we should have thrown it real quick at this problem. This become the biggest problem in national history. And what I mean by that is, in my mindset, the fastest way to get from point A, point A to point B is a straight line. Not veering off to the left, not veering off to the right, 
not having other, any other goals or distractions in mind is simply to power ahead and resolve that problem as quick and as diligent as you can and not worry about opinion and, and, and elections and, and any other thing that should not even be in your mind because let me break it down when you have something like a pandemic or a virus you have to see it as an opponent and let's pretend let's put it into like real life scenarios let's say that you're a cage fighter you walk into a cage and you know that across the cage you have an opponent that has nothing in their mind but to put you out smash you in any way possible and it wouldn't be in your best interest to look around, be distracted, and not make a choice that you're, you're going to fight. That will get you killed. In basketball, you can't let the other team go on a scoring spree and then decide, I'm going to shoot for the basket late in the game. You won't catch up, you'll lose. That's just my two cents. That's just what I, I think that what's truly important should be addressed as that and um, that way if we do that less collateral damage um, yeah the situation sucks and um, any of you know my friends that uh, work with if I if you guys tune into this man it's been my pleasure um, to work with you guys you guys are seriously awesome uh, nothing but respect for all of you guys because uh, it, 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 it's, it's, been a, it's been a great time, a lot of years, a lot of people I've worked with for a long time, some people I've worked for only a couple of years, but uh, I've enjoyed working with, with all of you guys. And you guys are, are great assets to any company or, 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 or any entity that have you guys, because I work with people that, you know, went out above and beyond, solved their own problems, people that were really... Uh, engaged and invested into what they were doing and it's hard to find guys quality is hard to find people that are just good to be in there and, and, and be present and uh, want to solve things and want to do the best job that they can even if the paid isn't represented or even if the, the handbook didn't specify that that's what you're supposed to do but they just went and said you know what I just want to do the best I can I just want to get shit done. And it's very hard to find and that's the type of people that I work with and the type of people that I had the uh, opportunity to uh, talk stories with and, and, and work along and so it's been my pleasure to work with you guys and any customers that come on here to recognize me from you know helping you guys same I enjoy the interactions and stuff that I have with you guys in the conversations um, always going to be in my memories and everything like that uh, I don't I don't regret any of that uh, it's, it's, it's always going to be a great memory so it's been seven days since I uploaded and uh, usually I like to have fun and um, you know what I'm going to try to still have fun I ain't going to lie I feel like the, the feet got knocked out of me and I'm walking on my knees and then I know there's a lot of people that same way kind of lost and uh, understandably so but uh, all we can do is go forward and walk forward all I can do is move forward and walk forward. Uh, standing in place and looking at the ground, uh, it's not gonna really do anything. Yeah, I think uh, let's continue to go out there and, 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 and have fun and, and, and enjoy what is the most important thing. It's life. Life is the most important thing, I mean. What is happening now, I mean, it could mean that I lose things, material things or whatever, but um, so you gotta decide how, how important is that kind of stuff to you guys, you know, material things, you know, how, how important is it to you? Um, and the older you get, the more you're gonna be like, it's really not important, you know, as long as I, I keep my sanity and I keep my, my identity of who I am and what I believe and I and that's the main thing and uh, I always say my channel you know like do what you enjoy you know because hate to read it life is a four-letter word you only have one of them 
And you hate to live majority of your life hiding what you really enjoy to do and have that what-if syndrome. And uh, a lot of times people are driven to do things that uh, gets them uh, views or gets, gets them popularity or gets them monetary, you know, gains. And, I mean, that's... That's to me is not necessarily success, you guys. Be, success is being able to be comfortable in your own skin, standing for something, even if it's not popular. Having your own identity. Number one. At the end of the day, man, you got to be able to look yourself in the mirror and and uh, really uh, respect the person that you see. And uh, you know that's that's life. I mean, they say that you. Uh, you, you want to get into sports and you lift all the weights you got, you run the laps, you do everything you got. You go out there and you probably never start there, you never, you never headline or anything like that. But trust me, man, there's going to be people that you don't know, maybe people that you don't want to know or don't recognize and they're going to recognize you. They're going to realize and remember, like, that guy is insane. You know, he trained his ass off and you're going to, and, and the, the, the main thing is you're going to get respect for yourself, for putting yourself out there. and. Uh, you know, grinding, giving it 100. I mean, that's character right there. Character is something that you can't put a price tag on. Again, like I said, quality. Quality is people that are interested and that are vested and that they are there to to give you genuine support and genuine uh, interaction and genuine uh, work, man. It is to be like family with you, man. They're going to stand there and they're going to and they're, and they're, they're going to grind just like you are and, and be real. That's the type of people you want to surround yourself with. It's the type of people that you want to uh, be inspired by. And, uh, you know, again, this is a video I didn't want to make, but I felt like I had to uh, get stuff off of my chest and I didn't have any content. And uh, usually uh, I like to go out and do fun stuff and we will do that. We try to do this one cut, not edit it or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a professional at this. It's something I want to do for a long time, and I always like, nah, it's embarrassing, and I don't know how to ha uh, hook up cameras, and I don't know how to do this and that. And one day I decided, you know what, dude, just get out your own way and freaking do it, man, and just just go. So let's get it. Uh, we're going. Um, hopefully, I can still do some cool shit. 2020 was a year it was going to pop off, and I had a lot of big plans, uh, taking you guys to car shows and. Uh, some big trips, big things, and just going to try to form a team and do some collabs and uh, have a lot of fun. And um, it's going to change a little bit, but uh, still going to go. Timeline's going to change. Uh, like I said, man, you didn't hear from me for seven days. Uh, things that I draw up and ideas in my head kind of just went in the toilet because I got the wind knocked out of me. And like everybody else, man, legit. Probably got the wind knock out of them too. I mean, a lot of questions of what now, where to go. But uh, you're still here, and we're still here, so you know, let's just do whatever we can do, and whatever happens, happens, man. We can't really control that that stuff, man. We really just no control on that. My only hope is that you know that, like I said, man, I'm I'm a, I'm a shoot from the hip kind of guy, straight. My, my, my mentality is not to see whose fault it is or, or or left and right is problem and ways to solve problems. And I think that's the way that administrations of, of, of companies and, 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 and schools and, and, and even your elected officials should have the mentality of not really looking at who they're running against or look at who else is in their workplace or finding somebody that did a worse job than you. It's just what is the problem and uh, how do I go about fixing it? Because the quicker, the quicker I fix it, it, it's better for everybody, including myself, because uh, this earth is round like a basketball, so everything goes in a circle. So if you think it's not going to affect you, uh, there's a thing called gravity. So if you need that type of inspiration and motivation to do the right thing, then there it is. Um, other than that, I mean, I've always been the type of person that, you know, I'm engaged in the problems to go fix them no matter what. And I don't really uh, have too many uh, motives other than that, because I do know I do know this. At the end of every problem or pandemic or 
or hate or anything like that, anybody's a target. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care where you are in life. It doesn't care your age. It doesn't care anything like that. It's coming for you and it's coming for us. And if we are not smart and take the, 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 the precautions and just say, let's solve the problem and cross the aisles and who cares about history and who don't like who, but just get get together and, and formulate a plan and fix it for everybody because everybody's valuable no matter where they stand. You know, some, some people are just misinformed, some people are just react on fear. But at the end of the day, guys, like I said, I mean, you get the, you, you get the legs cut out from you, but you can only go forward. And part of the forward is just leaving everything behind and just analytically looking at what the problem is and how to fix them. Just, that's it. So you find, you find people like that, that uh, think in that nature, good people. You know, they don't really look at things as capital investments and all that kind of crap. They look at just, you know what, this is, this is the right thing in the heart. This is the right thing to do, man. And um, we're going to save a lot of people from this. And, you know, let's fix it. Let's just fix it. Um, and that's my channel too. Like I said, I never had a niche, but my channel in any way I can. I want to motivate. I want to educate, uh, and, and I want I want to entertain you guys. You know, if I can put do-it-yourself videos, or I can show you guys how to do simple things. And I'm not a master of anything, uh, but um, you know what? Effort. Effort is something that you can never uh, you can never replace. You know, with somebody with lack in, in, in education or physical ability, sometimes with a lot of experience, a lot of gut, will, and desire, makes up for that. So, other food for thought. So, I don't know how long this video is now. But again, for all you guys who's tuning to my uh, channel, man, thanks. Thanks for leaving comments. Thanks for leaving likes. Uh, for all my friends that stumbled on, the, on this video, you stumble on it, and uh, I worked at you, man. I hope the best for you guys, and I, I really appreciate working with you guys. And um, you know, hope to see you guys around, and and uh, hope everything is is gonna get better. But no matter what, you guys are awesome. Either way, they cut the dice. Either way, they throw it. And for all, all the all the people on, on YouTube, my YouTube friends that I made who come and comment, and they're. They're doing their thing, man. Keep doing your thing. And again, thanks for your support. Thanks for tuning in on the Rocks Entertainment. Um, I still love and enjoy doing this. So I'm still going to come out there and try to connect with you guys. And if you guys know, I I, I, I comment back. And I, I, look at, I, I look at the viewers and respect the viewers and nothing else. I'm not really looking at being competitive and reaching a thousand subscribers and all that kind of stuff. I like what I'm doing, I'm learning as I go, and um, I'm growing at my own rate. And where it goes, I don't know. But I feel like if my content goes out there and helps anybody feel more comfortable with their own skin because they can relate to what I am doing, or if I can entertain you in any way, then I've already done my thing. Remember my old motto, if I can make you think, I can make you laugh, I can make you smile, then I've done my job. And uh, my new one. Life is a four little word, but you only get one. So until next time, you guys, this is, I hope that to be the last sad video rant, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll see you guys. Take care. And, uh, let's have fun on the next one, you guys. Aloha. Peace. And uh, God bless.